So in good fun, we challenge many people to cooking contests. My mom, my director, my girlfriend. Is it fair? Probably not. So to level the playing field, let's try something different and point the arrow at me. So as I've said, most of the people that we've done cooking challenges with aren't really, well, I wouldn't say that they're cooking inept, but look, it's part of the fun, okay? It's entertainment, are you not? I'm not gonna, no, we're not gonna do that. That quote, it's time to put that quote to bed and then in the coffin. Part of what makes that so fun is I don't let them see what I'm doing. And that's what the challenge is. So how am I gonna challenge myself, right? Put myself on a rolling ball while chopping something? No, I'm also gonna keep myself from seeing what I'm doing. But what's the excitement behind that if there's no high stake item? How about we make a $1,000 meal? The goal is to make a beautiful contemporary plate of food using some of the most expensive ingredients in the world. We have three for you. A5 Miyazaki Wagyu, one of the most rare types of beef on planet Earth. Two-tone Ocetra caviar, and last but not least, least black winter truffles. These foods are so rare, I don't wanna mess them up. I'm gonna do my best, really I am. I would not recommend anyone else do this, but if you wanna know where we got it, we got it from Regalis. So before we do this, I wanna get a little bit amped up. I need some level of confidence, so we're gonna do a little taste test blindfolded and see how connected my senses are. Wow, this is gonna be a lot harder than I think it might be. Why did I do this? I wanna do something else now. Wow. That's something. You gotta cleanse the palate. Can I even get one? Jerry, do you want to just get the water for me? That's probably a better idea. Mm, I know this, this is pee. Mm -hmm. So this is the moment where I taste test all this stuff and I don't know what's in front of me. Fantastic. Mm. Smells like a spice. This is the Dorito spice that I made. It smells like peanut butter. Is there even anything in, do you guys even put anything in here? Is this booby trap? This is the peanut stuff that we put on the bao buns. Peanuts blitz with powdered sugar and salt. Oh, that, that's turmeric. I know I'm on fleek right now. I ain't even said that in a while. Strong. Garam masala. It smells funky. Funny, whoa. It's dry. Oh, that's yukari. Yukari shiso seasoning. <coughs> this smells like it could potentially be spicy. Where's my wawa? Mama. Let's go Jugaro. Woo, how do I do? Let's fucking go. Ooh. So my senses are calibrated. I've had my little taste test. We got six out of six. Homies, we're doing great. Who's rooting for me? If you're rooting in tootin', hit it in the comments. Let's do this. Uh, I wanna break this down into elements here. Brulee onion, and then a pea puree, and a pan sauce, and a steak. Keep it relatively simplistic. Jeez. Pearl onions, brulee. Yep. This isn't a pearl onion. This is easy. Just gotta find my knife. <laughs> Everyone's nervous right now. Yeah, that's in half. This is easy. First we got the taste test. The next one is gonna be like, let's see Josh do a challenge with both of his legs broken. All of my senses are heightened right now. <laughs> okay, so we got the onions cut in uh, top. Sorry, I forgot to talk because I was too focused on trying not to cut my hand off. You can make nice little shells. How many pearl onions do you peel, Vikram? None. Really? Should probably work on that. Yep, I'm getting a little too confident right now. I don't want this pin anymore. <laughs> I don't know how much to turn this. I'm guessing this is like medium. Is this medium? What do you mean you're not gonna tell me? I think this is oil. All right, so we're gonna let this get nice and hot. How do I know when it's hot? I don't know. Okay, all right, ow. I'm gonna get a little press. See, the thing is, I know where everything is in my kitchen. This is why it's important to keep an organized kitchen. This is gonna prove to you how organization is everything. Either that or I'm gonna look like a complete idiot. Wouldn't be the first time. That's not the right drawer. That's not. All right, let's check and see if these are done. Ow, are they charred? They smell charred. I'm turning this off because it smells too charred. I can't really comment on this because I don't know what the f I'm looking at. Oh, you know what? These need a little bit of salt. That's hot. Did I get them? Oh, you know what? Ha, <laughs> that's the secret. Everywhere and then toss them in the salt. Yeah. Ow, did we get it? <laughs> there, okay. <laughs> well, you know, Kendrick, I've got a blindfold on. Yep. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm getting impatient now at this point. Full speed, we're going full speed. Pea puree. First off, shallots. Uh, we're gonna ham. Um... Yeah, you like that? You like that? I don't know if these are even or not. Are they even or? Yeah, Let's go. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that moving forward. I never could dance in the first place, let alone with a blindfold. This is kind of relaxing. I might do this more often by myself with nobody here to supervise or protect me. And I'll leave my phone really far away and dead in the corner somewhere in case there's an emergency. I feel like these are really uneven. Ah! Okay, that's smelling way too hot. Salts, uh, I don't remember where I put it. Maybe it'll have a good flavor to it, the burn. Yeah! Aha, now we're cooking. It smells awful. 
I don't want to eat that. Peas are in, turn the heat all the way down, toss them around. <laughs> Much penis. All right, I guess I do have to cook them. Now you can't burn them. I'm starting to get dizzy. Uh, now I need Wawa. This is so disorganized. What am I doing? Think, 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 think. Ooh, I want to add truffle oil to this. I think this is truffle oil. That's just, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. Ah! Tastes terrible. I need a blender. We have our blender. Woo, movie magic. By that, I mean they went and got it for me and I stood here. That goes here. Oh yeah, this is becoming very familiar to me. This is so dangerous. Don't ever do this. Now I need to find this, oh, the spoon. Aha, Josh, you're so smart. What? Oh, the spoon, damn. For all you know, I could be asleep right now. Oh, where's my chinois? Flashbacks to the restaurant. Where did I put the chinois? And the chef's like, where's the fucking chinois? Like, oh, it was always behind me. Aha, <laughs> sometimes people do make the same mistakes. These peas suck. It's fine. What is this? Oh, I thought this was a knife. This has to go in here. Wow, this is easy. You gotta use your senses here. It's too thick. Oh. That's the sound I want. Ah. Woo, let's speed this thing up. Oh my God, this is a nightmare. So I should be smoother and glossier than a mirror. There we go. Ooh, this is good. God damn. Ooh, I oversalted it. I think a little bit of acid and it'll be fixed. Like lemons. It's a lime. This is a rock. That's a lemon. Ugh, no, it's not. Is this a lemon? Ugh. Orange, orange, a lemon. <laughs> this is a lemon, but it's old. This doesn't smell rancid though. I'm doing this purposefully because I don't know what I'm looking at and I don't want seeds in there. I heard a seed. I heard it kind of slide because it fell in like over here. That's delightful. Mmm. They did. All right, so then this is all done. This will get quenelled onto the plates. So yeah, it's steak time. I'm tired. It's time to portion the Wagyu. I really don't want to mess this up. I'm sorry, I love you. Somebody guide my hand. Paul Bacuse. Maybe I'll cut it into a steak and then portion that steak. This is easy. It can feel hard and you can acknowledge that it's hard. Why spend time focusing on how difficult it is and instead spend time on the task at hand? And that's what we're gonna do. I've got a plan here. I'll indent how thick I want it. Okay, so I've made an indention. I know this is the wrong side of the knife. Don't think that I'm being dumb here. I can't mess this piece of meat up. It's gonna be such a disrespect. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, my heart is beating so fast. <sighs> Did I do it? Hey, all right, okay. That's a pretty good cut. Uh, this is easy. All right, now I gotta trim the fat off of this. I'll use this fat for something else. There's a little bit of meat there. Mostly fat, I'm pretty sure. We've got a little bit here. Fat is so delicate that it melts at room temperature. You can see it all over my hands, so I'm trying to move quickly, but also not screw this up. I feel like I'm doing pretty good though. Okay, so we've got a steak. I don't know if it looks very good, it may not. Very thick for Wagyu. I'm gonna cut it in half. Yep, okay. That definitely was a piece of my thumb. Ah, oh, the grain runs the other direction. The grain runs this way, doesn't it? Why? We're gonna go with a different kind of bar. Look, this is still perfectly edible, just won't be as tender. Oh yeah, that that's nice. Look at this. Does that look good? That's a nice little steak. All right, so this is our steak. Obviously, we're not gonna use this entire thing. We still had to order it, okay? So we're gonna count that as the whole price, goddammit. Ulysses, I swear to God, bro. My senses are turned all the way up. That was so loud. That sounds crazy. With a mask on. Bro. Oh my God. Really, the hardest part is over. This, this the rest is gonna be easy. Wow. Oh, I hear a knife. You know how like Toph in the airbender would be like, and then she could like see everything? That's with me right now. I'm like, there's the knife. Pretty accurate. All right, we got a Wagyu, which is really hard to tell the cook on. So we're gonna put this on a medium high. Eggs and wakey steaky. Now you don't wanna put a wet steak in the pan. So I'm just gonna give it a little wrap in here to dry for a moment. This should be getting pretty hot. Oh yeah, that feels like a lot of salt. Pep. All right, now we're gonna roll this around in there. Okay. Oh, God damn. Did you hear that? That was my finger. And this is gonna go right in there. No oil in the pan, because it's A5 Wagyu. It'll produce its own. Sweaty. Was the, I think I put the presses. Oh, that's a knife. I put the presses over here, I'm pretty sure. Ah! It smells like a cheeseburger. That has to exist somewhere in LA. It's too hot, I can smell it. Woo, this is pretty fun, huh, guys? You guys having a good time? You don't sound like you're having a good time, Vikram. Yeah. You don't sound like you're having a good enough time. I can tell that there's a crust. It may be burnt. One, two, three. How are we looking? Good crusty. I can tell it's pretty raw on the inside, which is fine. You could certainly serve this rare and it's very good rare. 
This feels like it's done. Is there any fat in this pan? It's gonna sear all the little edges and corners, get some nice color, make sure it's cooked to medium rare. Ow, god damn, that's hot. Oh, yeah! This is probably done, I'm gonna remove it. I think that's the cutting board. All right, so the next step, get your broth, and you're gonna add that and deglaze the pan, turn it up a little bit. That sounded like I added too much. And then we're gonna let that boil. Beef, edge, this. That's boiling. Now the truffles, which we will chave on top. So truffles will go into the pan sauce. Where does the caviar go? I guess I'll just... Could be meat, quenelle, pan sauce, caviar. On the quenelle, we'll do two alternating quenelles, like one here and one here. Or no, quenelle, quenelle. Yeah, and then caviar, caviar, pan sauce, pan sauce. Yeah, that would look cool if it looks right. Do you know that olive wood smells like olive oil? How's that possible? That's correct, Vic, for magic. Good job. Smart little me already preset the thickness on it. Eat my poop. Sorry guys, Vikram laughs at anything that has to do with poop. <laughs> salty, salty. This doesn't smell that good. Don't have no guidelines. I wanna stop at this point. All right, in the next video, Vikram's going to edit blindfolded. The chives will get added. Butter here, it's nice and cold. Cut the heat and then we mount it with butter. So you're gonna vigorously shake, get that emulsified. Emulsify, emulsify. Sounds like soup. Maybe it's good though, let's taste it. It's like a jus. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Add our chives and then our truffle. Oh yeah. That all mixed in there. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, it's busting, busting. <coughs> it doesn't even need salt. So then we're ready to assemble. Oh, we've reset. I don't really know where everything is, but I have a rough idea. I gotta get all my pieces of the puzzle. It's a home stretch. All right, guys, we're doing it. Y'all ready? Okay. Oh, oh, God. I normally don't cut like this, but I have no choice. Give me a freaking break. I know someone's gonna be like, you're not supposed to cut it like that. Oh, really, Franklin? Because what are, what's on my face? What's this? I think I don't know. This feels pretty nicely tapered, actually. Right. There, here's the side of the meat. I wanna put a little quenelle. My heart rate is like 5,000 RPM. Okay, so two quenelles, that's what I said I wanted to do. It feels like a good onion. I'm just gonna do it, it's fine. Uh, they say make it look natural. Okay, here's a piece of meat, uh, put it right there. there. Where's the other puree? Where, there you are. All right, how many did I put? Did I put three? Am I allowed? Uh, don't tell me, don't tell me. Am I shaking? Cause I'm scared. And one at the bottom of the steak. I'm not gonna put any more. There's that, so here's my thumb. I'm getting some truffle in this. It's fine, whatever, it has the essence of truffle. God, that probably looks terrible. Where's the sprouts? Get a small amount of these and I'm gonna trim them in half. I guess I'll just lay it down. Where's the sauce? I haven't touched it with my finger yet. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna put it on there. Oh, uh, flaky salt. There it is. Pepper. I'll just do it up high. Done. Time, except this isn't timed. <laughs> it's dinner time for Kendrick. Bonjour. Ah, oui, I don't know what this is. Uh -huh. Okay, don't be scared. Woo! Uh -huh. Delicious. Oh, that might be a little bit full. Yep, it's gonna be so good. Your dinner. Bonjour. I'm gonna take off the mask. See my masterpiece. Oh, shit. that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna go into cardiac arrest after that. Let's go, is it cooked properly? Yeah, it is. What the dang, oh my God. Holy, sorry, I'm like touching your food. I wanna like almost fix it. I have to take a photo of this. It's a little messy with the sauce. It's a little messy. I'm ready to go to bed now. So good. <laughs> yes! Hey, can I have a bite? Mm. Dog, bro, get some of that juice too. Sorry, folks. I guess my ego's just gonna keep growing. This cannot, this is not good for me. It's upsetting how fucking good that is. Most people would be like, I'm glad that I achieved that. But for me, now it's just like my ego is now inflated to a point where it's at, da it's at a dangerous level. I just realized that I forgot the caviar. Uh, Whoopsie daisy. That sucks because this was the grand total for everything that we ordered. So we're, we're still using the title, okay? At least I have caviar in the fridge. I can't complain about that. So what did we learn today? Well, we learned that anything is possible. I'm the best of all time. Years of practice, you could still do something with a blindfold. That's pretty much it. I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. Like I was kind of hoping that I, I was gonna mess this up. I actually feel like I didn't learn anything. I don't know if we're gonna do more blindfold stuff or not, 
but I do know that I'm gonna be cooking against more people and uh, I didn't stop myself and nobody can stop me then. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time because you almost certainly learned that can't stop us. Bigram's shaking because his arm's tired. Ow.